Let's pretend that you've been designing a poster for an assignment or a conference presentation, but you're having trouble inserting a clear image or citing that image. Don't worry. This video will show you how to insert an image, insert a text box, and generate a citation for the image. In order to insert a clear image, pay attention to the quality of the image you plan to add to your poster. A good rule of thumb is that all images should be at least 200 to 300 dpi in order to look nice on a poster. Otherwise, the image might look nice on your computer, but be quite pixelated on your poster. You can easily determine the quality of an image using a Mac or a PC. On a Mac, open the image in preview. Then go to Tools, Adjust Size. Resolution will appear in this box. You can adjust the size to 300 dpi to get a sense of what this image will look like on a poster. For a PC, navigate to where your image file is stored. Then right-click on the file name, click on Properties, and then the tab that says Details. For both Mac and PC, TIFF images offer the best resolution and best quality. Now that we have checked the resolution of our photo, we're ready to insert it into our poster. In PowerPoint, Office 2016 shown here, click on the Insert tab at the top left of your screen. Then click on Pictures. Select the picture you plan to insert and then click Insert. By holding Shift and clicking one of the corner boxes, you can resize the image without altering the aspect ratio. You can drag the picture as is to a different location on your poster. Once your picture is located where you want it, it's time for you to begin citing the image. In order to type the citation under your photo, you'll need to insert a text box. To do this, click the Insert tab again, and then Text Box. Notice your mouse will change. Move the mouse where you want to draw the box, most likely below the image, and hold the left-click button of your mouse as you draw your box. Now that you have your box, it's time to cite your image. According to Creative Commons, an ideal attribution includes title, author, source, and license. Let's look at attribution details found in this image from Flickr. Here we can see the title of the image is Park. The author is Julia. Here the source is the same as the title, so we won't need to double list it. To find the license, we can click on Some Rights Reserved. And we see the license is Attribution Share Alike 2.0 Generic. The final citation would look like this. Park by Julia is licensed under CC BY SA 2.0 which we can type in our text box. To type, simply click your mouse inside the text box to make the cursor appear. If you need help adding an image or citing it, you can always ask your professor or a librarian for help.